اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اللہم صلی علی سیدنا مولانا محمد طب القلوب و دوائیہ و آفت الابدانی و شفائیہ و نول افصاری و دیائیہ و علی آلہ و اصحابہ و بارک و سلم صلاة و سلام علیہ یا رسول اللہ السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ تعالی و برکاتہ You are watching Sari Time and I am your host Office Dr. Nisar Ahmed Marfani We are approaching towards the end of the second 10 days of the month of Ramadan Sharif. Today, inshallah, we are going to start the 19th of Ramadan al-Mubarak. And as I mentioned yesterday, our today's topic is very interesting and important, which is youngsters. Before I proceed to the introduction of our guest of honor today, I would like to uh, uh, mention one dua which is written in so many uh, books of scholars. And it has to read uh, at the time of Sahri. And this dua is, La ilaha illallahul hayul qayyumul qaimu ala kulli nafsim bima kasabat. And the translation is Allah, there is no God except Him. He is alive eternally on His own. And the upholder keeps others established. So He is He who keeps a watch over the deeds of every soul. And people say, the one who will recite this dua at the time of Sahri seven times, he will get thousand deeds for each star on the sky, and thousand sins will be forgiven, and thousand ranks will be raised inshallah so we, we have to make this habit alhamdulillah i am doing it for last so many years just to make to tell you as teddy sinemat not to show off but this is a very powerful dua please make your habit to read every time every day at the time of seri when you have your meal we get our meal from lal Kila definitely but when you get your meal please do read this uh, dua at the time of seri our today's topic is youngsters and our guest of honor is none other than hazrat allama wa maulana muhammad arshad misbahi sahab damad raghad gutsia assalamu alaikum rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh hazrat i have chosen this topic for you especially because you have done a lot of work on youngsters so i would like to i, I would like you to highlight something very important regarding the youngsters of today's time bismillahir rahmanir rahim our beloved nabi alayhi salatu was salam 1400 years ago, very beautifully said in a hadith Mubarak, Ash-Shabaab Shu'batum Min Al-Junoon. Mm. Adolescence is a department of insanity. Youth. Department of insanity. Insanity. Min Al-Junoon. Allah. So therefore, it is most important for us as youth to control ourselves, the temptations, the desires, the environment, the society that can easily mislead us. They say in the Urdu language, Jawani Diwani. Diwani. Ah, Jawani. Mm. That is when it really counts. When you have the time, when you have the health, when you have the wealth, you've got everything on your side. Now show that you are, Alhamdulillah, duty-bound and obliged to your creator. Uh, I am a student of Iqbal Yat. Hmm. Allama Iqbal, who one of the beautiful Poet. uh, poets and central theme of his poetry was the youth. True. Was the youth. He says, जवानों को मेरी आहे सहार दे दिस सहारी टाइम जी वाह 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 जवानों को मेरी आहे सहार दे फिर इन शाहीन बच्चों को बालों पर दे वाह वाह खुदाया आरज़ू मेरी यही है मेरा नूरे बसीरत आम कर दे सुभानअल्लाह एक बात ब्यूटीफुली सेइस महबत मुझे उन जवानों से है सितारों पे जो डालते हैं कमांड I love those youth whose objective Hi. and aim is the stars. Subhanallah. Heights. They want to be special. They don't want to be just another human being. They want to make it big in their life. They want to make the most of the life that Allah Ta'ala has granted them. So therefore, this is that uh, period of your life when you are more obliged to control yourself this is when you can easily be distracted usually we are losing our youth in that age true when they're younger they're under the influence of the parents they're in the control of the parents when they're older mashallah they understand true. the world much better but true. that is the age where we can easily lose mm -hmm. so society friendship companionship really really matters in that period if we have 
good sohba, good friends, good accomplices. Inshallah, we will remain on the right path. Today we see one major issue in our countries within the Muslim youth, drugs. They want to be rich overnight. They want to make it overnight. So they get involved in this illegal, not only according to the law of the land, even Islamically speaking. It's a muskir, it's a haram, it's forbidden by your creator. He knows better than you. Likewise, we have problem of prostitution. We have problem of gambling within our youngsters. So please, all my uh, young brothers and sisters, all the parents, give support and time for your future generations. Don't be lost only in the dunya. Mal is not everything. <laughs> you know, there's a beautiful saying. Uh, somebody has said, some people are so rich, all they have is money. <laughs> all they have is money. Well, uh, anyways, Hazrat, you talk, spoke about drug, you spoke about the prostitution. I want to uh, give a brief uh, discussion on that further, uh, on, the, on the topic of drug, as you mentioned, the youth. I, I went to America and I go every year. I have seen amongst our Muslim community, there are two extreme ends in the youth. Those who are very close to Islam, those who are totally away from Islam, what is that reason? They are drug addicts, yes. I'm talking about those very extreme end. Mm. They don't follow Islam at all. Mm. Okay, they are drug addicts, but why they don't follow anything? No, one big reason, Muhtaram Dr. Sahib, is no doubt the environment. Environment. You spoke about America. Let me tell you a statistic from my country, UK. UK. The Muslim population in UK is around, according to the last consensus, 5%. 5% meaning between 3 to 4 million. Million. That's the population, Muslim population. But the jail population. Jail. Um, jail. Those Prisons. who are in jail okay. in UK overall. Okay. 15% of those who are in jail are Muslims. Percentage wise, 5% Muslims. My way. Jail population, 15% 15. of those in jail Who are, are Muslims. And most of them are because of drugs. Allah. Most of those youth Muslim brothers and sisters in their 20s and 30s and 40s imagine, is because of drugs. Imagine 5% of the population is a Muslim community in the prison. The prisoners out of the 100% of prisons... Uh -huh. They are 15% prisoners who are Muslim and they are because of the drug addiction. Allahu Akbar, may Allah protect, protect us from these uh, bad habits. Inshallah, we'll continue this topic after a short break. But before we go to the short break, I'd like to recite the kalam of Ustad Zaman. Biradri ala Hazrat Maulana Hassan Raza Khan Ali Rahmatul Zaman. Let's read through the pak. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa alihi wa sahabihi wa barik salli ala. دمِ زِتِرَاب مجھ کو جو خیالِ آر آئے دمِ زِتِرَاب مجھ کو جو خیالِ آر آئے میرے دل کو چین آئے تو اسے قرار آئے تیری وحشتوں سے دل مجھے کیوں نہ آر آئے تیری وحشتوں سے دل مجھے کیوں نہ آر آئے تو انہی سے دور بھاگے جسے تجھے پہ پیار آئے نہ حبیب سے محب کا کہیں ایسا پیار دیکھا نہ حبیب سے محب کا پیار دیکھا وہ بنے خدا کا پیارا جسے تجھے پہ پیار آئے وہ بنے خدا 
माँ का प्यारा तुझे जिसे पे प्यार आए तेरी जगह मतों से कम है मेरे जुर्म यार रसूल तेरी रग मतों से कम है मेरे जुर्म इससे जायद न मुझे हिसाब आए न मुझे शुमार आए न मुझे हिसाब आए न मुझे शुमार आए हसन का नाम लेकर तू पुकार देख गम में हसन का नाम लेकर तू पुकार देख गम में के ये वो नहीं जो गाफिल पस तेजार आए ये वो नहीं जो गाफिल पस तेजार आए मेरे दिल को च करार Okay, there are so many questions uh, which need to be asked, inshallah. And after a short break, we'll ask Hazrat to give uh, definite answers to those who have asked so many questions, inshallah. We'll be right back. Just stay tuned. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Welcome back our viewers, we have received so many questions, inshallah we'll ask Hazrat and definitely there are so many questions which are related to today's time. We have never even heard of these type of questions in our childhood and definitely this era we are going through a very hard time. We have to struggle and we have to look and keep an eye on our children as well. The question came Hazrat, nowadays the children when they grow up, they reach the age of adolescence or puberty, they want to marry and they don't want to listen to the parents, they don't want to learn, they don't want to study. What is the ruling of Sharia on that? Uh, I could uh, give a number of answers to this question Gee. from the Islamic perspective. It is our duty as youngsters to be obedient to our parents. In terms of marriage, they have been through it. They have experience. They know what to look for. They know the guidance. So therefore, it is highly recommended that we take the guidance uh, of uh, the experience of our elders, mothers and fathers and no doubt that they will always want the best for you. The struggles of our parents is for us. Every parent wants to see their child better than them. In Deen and Dunya. True. That's why we sweat. That's why we work. Gee. Gee? True. Every parent naturally wants to see the future of their children better than their own way. True. So therefore, my advice to the youth and the youngsters is that please do take the advice, the guidance and the opportunity to go the way your parents go. guide you. They have experience. You may only look for certain qualities in marriage. Hadith spark just comes to mind. The Prophet says, Tun kahul mar arba. A woman is usually married for any one of these four reasons. Mal, Hasab, Jamal, Deen. Out of these four, Deen. what should be your preference? Deen. Deen. Inshallah, then you see the barakat of the 
practicing of an obedient wife who is into deen, obedient husband who is into deen. But it's okay if they want to marry at the age of 15 when they reach the puberty, is it? Islamically, yes. Yes. Islamically, yes. But for worldly pleasure, no? No, not for worldly pleasure, no. Okay. And, and also you discussed initially in the first session about the pros uh, prostitution. Mm -hmm. uh, is it very, is becoming very common? What is the reason behind it? This is the day of... Uh, the One of the signs of Payama? Of course. Nudity, pornography, environment that we live in. So much so that the Prophet said, there will come a time when women will be kasiyatin ariyat. They'll be dressed, but be still naked. Allah. They'll be dressed, but they'll be naked. But still be naked. With the tight clothing and all. All the ex parts yes, will be exposed. Yes, yes, so... Therefore, parda, you know, there is hikmat doctors are, there is in every Allah, there is hikmat. In whatever rule you have in the, it is for your good, it's for your betterment, Ji? for you to be successful. Therefore, Islam is especially so uh, stressful, stressing in respect to our libas. There are verses in the Quran which say, libas is an ayat of Allah. Libas is an ayat, ayat of, of Allah. It's a revelation, a blessing of Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. And just during the program, by chance, we were speaking between the brothers. There's a beautiful uh, Arabic saying, Anas bil libas. A man is known by his libas. True. So a Muslim's libas should represent his Islam. A Muslim sister is not only obliged to follow the libas code only in Ramadan, for example, and then after that she's free. No. Show that you're a Muslim. Where the identity, your identity is your libas. True. Ji? And the best libas is walibasu taqwa. Wah, wah, wah. Walibasu. Taqwa. When there is libas of taqwa here, then you'll inshallah follow you. And also, when you were mentioning about those four uh, qualities or five qualities out of those, you picked up the deen. Ji? What about the nasab? How, how important the nasab is? There is a guidance in our sharia relating to. Both husband and wife, even in dunyavi matters, being of more or less the same level, which is called kuf. Look at the kuf of the person you intend to kuf. marry. Yes. So the nasab does count. But should the priority be for the nasab? No. Priority is deen. But nasab is a part of it? Uh, so, yes, yes, you can follow and give preference if there is also piety and you find somebody from the same nasab. Okay. And also in a, uh, nowadays, it's very, become a very common tradition that people, they get engaged. And then now, before the marriage, they move around, intermingle with everyone, and then they go for outing and all without their parents knowing that they are going for anything, whatever they want to do. We don't know. But is this relation doesn't... Completely forbidden. Forbidden. Completely forbidden. Whenever a man and a woman are together, if they are not married, the Prophet is the third is shaitan. Third shaitan. Shaitan is there inciting both parties. The man and the woman. The, the wives of the prophets, Ummahatul Mu'mineen, Aisha, Khadija, Hafsa, radiallahu ta'ala anhunna. They are the best of women ever. Best examples. Ya Nisa and Nabi, lastunna ka ahadim min But then you find a narration in the books of Hadith. The prophet is sitting with two of his wives on one occasion, a blind sahabi. Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Umm Maktoum is about to walk in. The Prophet says to his wives, take parda. Go to the other room. They say, yes, but he can't see us, he's blind. Hmm. They are Ummatul Mu'mineen. Hmm. <laughs> what are our sisters compared to them? Allah And he says, but can you not see him? Allah So it's not a one side thing. And you see, there's a defect in the personality who is blind. Yes. And still blind Even person. Take parda. Allah this is how strict Islam is in terms of uh, the rules of libas and parda. And also one more very important question which came now. It's becoming very traditional. The, especially the youth, the youngsters, they go for a haircut. They make designs and they have so many designs on the top of their head. It looks like, it looks very weird and funny, but they feel like, oh, mashallah, yeah. to date. What, what is the ruling of Sharia? Again, that ruling of Sharia is very clear. Islam is a way of life. There is the most beautiful example in the Messenger of Allah for every Muslim of all times in every aspect. In every aspect there is guidance for you. Do not follow the Kafir and the Mushriks. Do not look like them. 
what did the Prophet say? Khaliful Yahuda wa Nasara. Kusu Shawari Wafulwa. Ji, trim your mustaches, grow your beard. So you look like Muslims. A Muslim man, a Muslim woman must look like a Muslim. Subhanallah, mashallah. Beautiful uh, explanation Hazrat has given to those questions which has been asked. Inshallah, we'll uh, read the Naat Sharif. And after the Naat Sharif, we'll take the word of wisdom from Hazrat. Inshallah, let's read the Dru Sharif. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa alihi wa sahabihi wa barik wa sallim. Salatu wa salamu alayhi wa rasulullah. Hazrat, the Kalam of Shaykh al-Islam. I want to read. किस लिए फिक्र करे हशेर के दिन क्या होगा किस लिए फिक्र करे किस लिए फिक्र करे हशर के दिन क्या होगा हाँ किस लिए फिक्र करे हशर के दिन क्या होगा सामने उनके जो होगा वो ही अच्छा होगा सामने उनके जो होगा वो ही अच्छा होगा किस लिए फिक्र करें उनके होते मत का तस्वीर कैसा उनके होते हुए जुल्मत का तस्वीर कैसा कब्र में मेरी उजाला ही उजाला होगा कब्र ही उजाला होगा किस लिए फिक्र करे और जज्बा इश्क बता वक्त वो कैसा होगा हाँ जज्बा इश्क बता वक्त वो कैसा होगा सामने जब मेरे सर का रेका रोजा होगा सामने जब मेरे सर का रोजा होगा किस लिए फिक्र करे और मक्ता फरमाते हैं रब ने चाहा तो कयामत में सभी देखेंगे हाँ रब ने चाहा तो कयामत में सभी देखेंगे उनके कदमों में पड़ा अख्तरे खस्ता होगा उनके कदमों में पड़ा अख्तरे खस्ता होगा किस लिए फिक्र करे हशर के दिन क्या होगा इंशाल्लाह हज़रत विल गिव अस द पर्ल्स ऑफ़ विज़्डम हुज़ूर इस्मिल्लाह रहमान रहीम आई वांट टू इंक्लूड एंड कंक्लूड इंशाल्लाह दिस ब्यूटीफुल कपलेट टॉकिंग अबाउट द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ़ टर्निंग टू अल्लाह इन यूथ एस्पेशली नॉट व्हेन वी आर इन आवर फिफ्टीज सिक्सटीज ए در جوانی توبہ کردن شیوہ پیغمبری در جوانی توبہ کردن شیوہ پیغمبری وقت پیری گرگ ظالم می شود پرہزگار 
to repent and turn to Allah in your youth. This is the way of the obedient servants of Allah. Subhanallah, Jazakallah Huzur for coming uh, to the show and thank you very much for your precious time you gave us the time. Uh, dua for the Sari. Wabi Sawmi Ghadin Nawaitu min Shahri Ramadan. I intend to keep the fast for the upcoming day of the month of Ramadan. Also, uh, I would like to once again thank uh, Palm Continental Hotel in providing us the space for these uh, shows and also a special thanks to Lal Kila. You can see uh, the bottle of water, mineral water in the meal, which they provide us every day for the Sari. And also, thanks to Fern Works for the beautiful setup you can see. And also, Orient Al Gallery is in providing us with the beautiful frames you can see at the back of the stage, Alhamdulillah. Also, to conclude with, Tomorrow, the 20th day of Ramadan, and our topic is Khulafa. We'll discuss three Khulafa, Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq, Hazrat Umar Farooq, and Sayyidina Usman Ghani, inshallah, and our guests will be Hazrat Khibla Sayyid Muhammad Yusuf Sahab Chishti Sabri, Damat Barakatun Kutsiya. Till then, Wassalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Ta'ala Wa Barakatuh.